make sure you have proper PPE on at all times. This includes safety glasses, coveralls, and steel toe boots. Before driving onto the hoist, ensure that all safety pins are secured in place. Do this on both sides as there are four plates. Ensure that there are no tools on or around the hoist. If these plates slide around, the vehicle is at risk of falling off the hoist and severely injuring another technician. When driving onto the hoist, always have a partner to guide you on safely. It is your partner's responsibility to make sure the vehicle is centered on the hoist. They should stand in front and off to the side of the hoist, not directly in front. If the vehicle were to roll off the front of the hoist, it would severely injure that technician. Always place wheel chocks on at least one wheel once parked on the hoist. This ensures that it will not roll backwards. Again, check that there are no tools or obstructions in the way of the hoist going into the air. Hoist going up! This is an important step because other technicians need to be aware that the vehicle is going into the air. Listen for these sound of the locks clicking into place. Also be aware if the vehicle is tipping. Once at the desired work height, slowly lower the vehicle so it is not resting entirely on the hydraulic system. If auxiliary jacks need to be used, identify strong jacking points on the frame of the vehicle. Inspect the auxiliary jack pads so that there are no cracks or abnormalities. They can slide out and or flip to the best lift the vehicle. If taking the wheels off, lift the vehicle just a few inches off the ramp to do so. Do the same for the rear. All four jacking points need to be at the same height so the vehicle is not tipped. Just like the regular full-size hoist, these auxiliary jacks rest on locks when at the desired work height. When lowering, lift the auxiliary jack off the locks before releasing, otherwise it will get jammed. Flip down the pads and flip up the entire auxiliary jack system into the middle when you are done. Before lowering the hoist, remove all equipment, binders, papers, cups, or tools from the hoist and surrounding area. What's going up? Again, lift the hoist off of the locks before lowering it to the hoist ground. Once on the ground, remove all wheel chocks and have your partner guide you off the hoist safely. Once you have safely cleared the hoist, do another check that there are no tools left behind and do a quick sweep if necessary. Now that you are safely off the hoist, you can return the vehicle to the customer and you're done.